Hello guys, let me take you through a new video of SpaceX updates. Today, let us take a look at what's happening at Starbase, update on Boeing Starliner mission, and finally, Artemis 1 mission update. Following yesterday's scaffolding incident, workers removed the damaged scaffoldings and fortunately, the chopsticks appear to be working fine. I was worried if it would be a major issue but the damage appears to be minimal. I should say it was a reckless and rookie mistake by the SpaceX engineers. Right now, crews are preparing to lift Starship S-24. Where are they moving S-24? I have no idea. Maybe on to Booster 7 for a stack. We will find out soon. This morning, the seventh segment of the Starship launch tower at Pad 39A was stacked after a long delay. Only two more segments are left to be stacked and we will see the tower at its full height. Boeing's first human spaceflight mission has been pushed back to next year. During a media teleconference held Thursday, officials said Starliner's crewed flight test mission has been delayed due to additional repairs needed to be made to the Starliner capsule. This mission will carry two NASA astronauts and test pilots, Barry Wilmore and Sunita Williams to the ISS. Both NASA and Boeing are targeting the launch in February next year in 2023. By the way, SpaceX is preparing to launch NASA's crew rotation mission, the Crew-5 mission to the International Space Station in the first week of October. Humanity's return to the Moon program starts on Monday. Artemis 1 mission is just three days away and the atmosphere is buzzing around the Kennedy Space Center on the east coast of Florida. Engineers are carefully performing the final works on the SLS rocket and the mobile launcher for an on-time liftoff on Monday. According to NASA, technicians have already closed the crew module hatch, soft covers on Orion's windows and seats have already been removed, and side flame deflectors have also been moved into position for launch. The zero-g indicator for this flight, Snoopy has been loaded inside the Orion module. Next, engineers will close the launch abort system hatch and retract the crew access arm from the rocket. Weather is 70% go for launch for an on-time liftoff at 8.33 a.m. on Monday. There is a little concern over scattered rain showers during the two-hour launch window. Here is a bonus clip to end the video. Yesterday, just before Booster 7's testing started, there was a spectacular air show by three F-22 Raptor aircraft above Starbase. For a few minutes, the air show definitely distracted us from the booster testing. Alright, that is it for now. I hope you enjoyed all the little pieces of information I gathered and compiled for you guys. We are living in an exciting time of space travel and deep space exploration. I believe space is the future.